Hey, check this out. Have you ever noticed how a drop of water sticks together? The water doesn't try to spread out. And if it's on a smooth surface, it could even move around without losing its shape. How many drops of water do you think we can fit on this coin? So that's one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, oh, 30. Why does this happen? It's because of something called surface tension. Water is made of these little things called molecules, which are made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. These molecules share a strong bond with each other, which means they hold on to each other. If you put water in a jar, the molecules keep pulling at each other from every direction. This pulling action is called tension. But since there are no water molecules above the surface, all the molecules end up being pulled downward. Because of this, the molecules closer to the surface are held tighter together. This creates what we call surface tension. This makes it appear as though there's a thin plastic film on the surface. Even if you broke the surface by dipping your finger into the jar, the water left on your finger will still try to stick together. Very cool, right? Now let's do something fun. For this experiment, we only need a few things. A flat dish, about half a cup of milk, dish soap, a cotton swab, and some food coloring. Pour the milk into the plate. Try not to move the plate. You want the milk as still as possible. Put a few drops of each color in different places in the milk. The drops of color stay in place. Why? Put just a tiny amount of soap at the end of a cotton swab. Then touch one of the colors. What happened? Milk has fat in it, and the fat molecules are connected by very strong bonds. We use dish soap to wash our dirty dishes because the soap breaks down these bonds. When we add soap to the milk, the bonds between the fat molecules become weaker, and the surface can no longer keep the dye in place. Now you give it a try. See what kind of crazy design you can come up with. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please remember to like, share, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that notification bell. That's it for now, and I'll see you in the next one.